Today, we're talking about the Western church promoting the same kind of activities that were a part of Sodom and Gomorrah that have led the people astray. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Filled episode. Today we are back at it in the trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, today I want to address the Western church of religion and I will let you know via scripture, I'm gonna show you some things today that they won't show you. They will not show you in these places of religion. And because of this, these religious leaders not teaching the weightier things of scripture, they're collecting all this tithes and offerings and you know, giving people feel good, lukewarm messages and they are being led astray. They're not hearing anything to put the fear of Elohim in them. They're not hearing anything to convict them to live in righteousness, especially in Christendom and in Christianity. These jokers will get up in the pulpit and tell people the law is done away with, but they don't even understand it's those same teachings that will cause you not to get into the kingdom. Think about the scripture and you can go back and Google these scriptures that I'm giving you. It's common knowledge for those who are filled with the Ruach, filled with the Holy Spirit and actually read. Read everything in scripture versus listening to your pastor telling you certain stuff is done away with. Think about your pastor saying the law is done away with and then saying as Christians or as Christendom, we're new covenant. Okay. But you can go read in Jeremiah who the new covenant pertains to, Israel and Judah, all right? When we look at the law being done away with, okay, why would the Most High Yah, you know, tell people that were doing great signs and wonders to part ways for him? For I never knew you, you workers of iniquity or lawlessness. Ask yourself that. But the law is done away with. And that's why you ain't making it into the kingdom. The law is meant to protect you. You know, let me give you something. The law is prohibiting things like incest. But when you say the law is done away with, guess what side you standing on? You standing on the side where fathers can sleep with their doggone daughters. Mamas can sleep with their sons. That's what you standing on. Talking about the law is done away with. Today, man, I want to wake up Israel. I want to wake up Israel because it's an agenda of Hasatan and Satan to keep you in the dark, to confuse you. But this thing is plain as day. When I read the scriptures talking about, they called him Lord, Lord. Look what we've done in your marvelous name. We've done all kinds of signs and wonders. We didn't hoop and holler and no, and all of that. Talking about we've done it in your name. Most high y'all part ways. For I never knew you, you workers of iniquity, lawlessness. Hmm. Well, how not to be lawless? Follow the law. It's simple. But it's these pulpit pimps. And I say that as a convicting statement because they themselves have been taught in these Bible colleges and in these churches that ordain ministers without no Ruach being upon them, and they go out and teach 
people about religion instead of obedience and a fear of the Elohim. Why do we have these people out here doing all this craziness if they have religion? Well, in Christianity and Christendom, they don't teach a fear of Elohim. They don't teach a fear of the Most High Yah. Why? I told you guys, in Christianity and Christendom, it's about business. Your pastor's getting a salary. You know, they doing pastor appreciation. They want to do all this other stuff to collect money, constantly moving buildings every five years. But ain't nobody getting the truth. They getting a feel good message. They getting their ears tickled and that's it. Today we're reading Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. This comes from just a little bit that they teach you guys. This comes from the, the, the books you guys love. But you will realize there are people that are very studied and don't go to cemetery school because it's the death of you. People that aren't in church that know more about the book and the history of the people written in the book than a lot of these pastors. Let's keep going. Verse 23, woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithes of mint a nice and coming and have omitted the weightier matters of the Torah. That means you you paying tithes, you got people paying tithes, but you ain't teaching people the Torah. Judgment, mercy, and faith, these all ye have done, and not to leave the other undone. So judgment, mercy, and faith. In these places of worship, Western church, you hear by grace we are saved. But they don't they don't tell you it's by his mercy. By his mercy that you have been spared. When them deaf angels is grabbing people, unplugging their power, their flesh is done. It's by his mercy that you are spared. Torah keeps you in his good graces. Think about Torah like boundaries. But what don't Westerners like? They want freedom from boundaries. We don't want no boundaries. We don't want no discipline. Home of the free. Home of the proud. Listen to that. Pride. That's Western culture. Most high y'all will humble you. Scripture says they have omitted the weightier matters. Bet your pastor ain't showing you this. Why don't they show you this? Because they the one omitting the weightier matters. You ask your pastor something about the Old Testament. Well, they, you know, that ain't, that we, we New Testament, New Covenant, that ain't, that's for them. That's for them. You right, it's for Israel. This book is for Israel and Judah and the Gentile or the heathen that forsake worshiping they guys that want to walk in the ways of the Most High Yah. When you look at, when you look at Pesach, Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, he says for the sojourner or the stranger amongst you, there's one rule, one law. So you're right in what they're teaching in religion, the Old Testament and the New Testament ain't for you at all. Neither the Old Covenant, which was written on stones and Moshe broke, or the Renewed Covenant when Moshe had to have them rewritten and there was some additions added on to that. Go back and look at Exodus chapter 20, see the first covenant. Then look at Exodus chapter 34, where the stones had to be rewritten. Look at what was on the second set of stones after the first set was broke and you gonna see some feast days on there. Oh, but your pastor won't tell you that, won't tell you that. The Western church is why we have so many problems. They rather teach you about religious revolutionaries. You can listen to some of these seminars and they'll sit up and talk about John Calvin. Oh, he's, oh, this brother teaches a Calvinistic approach. Where do you think that word come from? John Calvin. These jokers ain't been mentioned nowhere in the book and your pastor has adopted a teaching style based upon all of these men that wasn't in line with righteousness. Like today we are in the day and age of technology. You choose to be ignorant. 
so much information out. The average person spends 143 minutes a day on social media. And just in this little 10 minutes, I'm giving you more truth than you didn't ever got. More truth than you didn't ever got. You see, Western church, they don't put the fear of Elohim in anybody. And when you don't teach the fear of Elohim, guess what you don't do? You allow more foolishness in than giving the rebuke and the correction that people should be willing to receive because the fear of Elohim is in them. The Western church resembles nothing more than the tabernacle or the temple that was torn down because of the abominations that was committed in there. You know, they were showing Hamashiach around, showing him the great abominations. Therefore, we saw a woman weeping over Tammuz, the son of Nimrod, whose birthday is December 25th. You know, saw men with their back turned towards to the temple saw men with their backs turned towards the temple facing the sun worshiping sun worship gentile worship heathen worship roman greco worship man let me give you this next scripture right here next we read in from proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of yahweh is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding when is the last time your pastor said hey we ain't been living right let me let me read to you some of these judgments because you can you can read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 where it talks about the blessings for obedience. Chances are your pastor might nitpick and cherry pick out of scripture to, to give you that feel good message. But when you read the second half of Deuteronomy 28, oh, that's the curses for disobedience. But they don't tell you this. They also teach the same wicked nonsense in Christianity and Christendom that everyone is a Gentile. You mean I got a mixed congregation and everybody is a Gentile? Everybody is a Gentile? No, but they say that crap with pride, with arrogance. Why? Because religion is nothing more than Gentile Roman Greco culture. The Most High Yah, not one place in scripture, told you to make a religion out of what you want out of the scriptures. Never told you to do that. He didn't tell you to take the, the apostles and make a denomination called apostolic. Didn't tell you that. Didn't tell you to take John the Baptist, which wasn't his Hebraic name. These is all, all Western names that they have used to create these religions, Roman Greco names. He didn't tell you to take the character John the Baptist and make a denomination out of it. He didn't tell you to take a character, the Virgin Mary, out of the scripture and create a whole religion out of it. But in scripture, he tells us pure religion is to provide a covering for the widows and the orphans, the fatherless. Hmm. That's pure religion. But you got all this other stuff in here that these these jokers, these pulpit pimps are leading people astray. And I truly pray that they can seek deliverance out of this stuff because it's wicked. And they might say, well, what's wrong with telling people about Jesus? You mean that picture you got up? Because that ain't Jesus. That is not Jesus. See, when the Romans and the Greeks got their hands into it, this is why they wanted what is considered the renewed covenant or new covenant to be written in Greek. That's why, because they knew they could lose you in translation. They knew they could start to sell you this religion. You better wake up Israel for those who claim to be new covenant or renewed covenant. Go back and see who the new covenant pertains to. That's Israel and Judah. Man, these boogers will teach you and have Christmas ceremonies, Easter ceremonies, but they won't teach you nothing about Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, keeping those feasts. They won't teach you about abstaining from the way of the heathen. they rather dress your kids up in, in, in Christmas clothes and put reindeers in front of this stuff in front of the church. That is not the truth of the Most High Yah. But you will do this and they will continue to teach this in places where they don't 
teach the fear of the Most High Yah. I fear no man or no one except the Most High Yah. And this is the reason why I can give you a convicting message to challenge what you believe and tell you that it ain't no truth in it. Closer to God Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Wow.